I'm Denise Quinn, and this is my last lecture. My roots are compiled of my parents' quite diverse background, as my mom and dad come from two different places. My dad was born and raised in Southern California, along with his four other siblings. Because they all currently live in California, I'm able to see and connect with them on a somewhat daily basis. As I'm an only child, I've always been close with my two cousins, becoming the closest thing I have to brothers. On the other hand, my mom's originally from the Philippines and came over to the States on her own when she wanted to pursue her life and career. Over the summer, I was lucky enough to travel to my mom's hometown and immerse myself in her culture while getting to know what her life was like growing up. I spent a whole month with family I barely knew at the start and finished my trip with experiences and memories I can never replace. Our roots and our background is what makes each and every one of us our own person, allowing us to share and take in each other's life stories and experiences. As a kid, I never really had my heart set on one thing, causing me to be an indecisive person. One thing that's always been on my mind since I was young is what I want to do when I grow up, what I want to be. My idea of what I thought would be the perfect career for me has changed so much that I don't even know what's the ideal for me. With growing up and slowly becoming more mature and self-aware, I've learned to take in the little achievements and victories in life, rather than focusing my mind on one goal. Through this, I've been able to recognize what I love to do, some of it being performing. My desire to travel and explore the world has also become something I enjoy, as I hope to achieve more opportunities to travel in the future. My overall childhood dream is to be able to live a life where I can be proud of where I'm at, what I've done to become the person I am, and happy with who I surround myself with. While there has been an ample amount of people who have influenced and shaped who I am, someone that has really defined me as a person is my childhood best friend, Noelle. Noelle and I first met at our old school in kindergarten and instantly became best friends. We were able to keep up with each other's insane amount of energy and did everything side by side, from eating lunch to getting kicked out by our teachers. Even though we ended up going to different schools after 8th grade, we still felt just as close. Noelle's influenced me so greatly as she motivates me to be a better person and overall better in life. She's one of the strongest people I know academically, mentally, and spiritually. Her success and strength inspires me to become my best self. We might not talk every day, but when we do, it's like we've never been apart in the first place. 11 years of her in my life, and I know that number is going to keep on growing, as she's made me one of the luckiest people to have her as a lifelong best friend. In each of our lives, we've had our own struggles and hardships we've had to face. Some making us stronger, while others can weaken us. From my experience with facing conflict, the situation can help motivate me to push harder for my goal. With my future, I don't quite know exactly what I want to achieve. Rather than focusing on one goal, I've decided to focus on something more general. Success. Success can either be a long-term or short-term goal. It can mean something big, like graduating college, or maybe even something small, like being able to get through the day. The definition of success is open to a person's own per interpretation. Success could be taken in with hopeful or cautious arms, all depending on a person's mindset. Throughout my life, I've always been one to want to fit in the crowd, mold to society's preferences. I've had the mindset that if I could please others, I'd be pleasing myself as well. Over the last couple years, I've realized that I am my own individual person, meaning that I haven't lived the same life as anyone I have or will ever meet. As we all have our own life stories and experiences, we're able to share and connect with others, possibly from relatable or even different perspectives. Choosing how we live our lives is what's going to guide our future into place, how hard we work, who we surround ourselves with, and focusing on either the positive or negative things. Being able to make decisions like these is what makes everyone so authentic. If we didn't make these choices and were shaped by everyone's opinions but our own, we would be living in a world full of copies and duplicates. As of this moment, you are creating a path for yourself as we self-discover through this journey we call life. You are living your own story, not someone else's, so don't let others take away that privilege from you and live the legacy you want to create.